Hello, and welcome back to Keeping Up with Kristen. I hope you had a prosperous 4th of July, and I have some good news for you today. As you know, last Friday, the governor, in the very last moment, signed the state budget. And there's some things that were reviewed in our weekly checkout yesterday that I want to make sure you saw. So, let me go over just a few of those. The first and biggest news, of course, is the fact that we have no tobacco, no alcohol taxes. Of course, no new taxes on these two areas. This was one of our largest um, fights that we were working on for this uh, budget process for you. So, good news there. No new taxes on tobacco or alcohol. Another good news was the funding for HFFO. If you remember, this is the funding for the food desert projects that we try to, to, uh, to help out with. This was a big one. This was a big fight. We, uh, we lost funding once or twice throughout the process, but we ended up with a small smidgen of $200,000 over the two years. But what that means is that gives us money to go for private donations and to, to leverage that money. So we are very hopeful that this program will continue. So if you're interested in food uh, desert funding, please make sure you check it out on our website because there will be money available. Just a couple other things I wanted to bring to your attention. The wine sales, they did uh, extend the 10% discount that you can offer at retailer if they buy anywhere from 6 to 12 bottles. Doesn't need to be 6, doesn't need to be 12, anywhere in between, and it can be a mix of different types of wine. So again, this is just on wine, but you are now allowed to offer that 10% discount when the quantity is between 6 and 12. And for those of us that love ice cream like me, they also created a new A5 permit which will allow manufacturers of ice cream to put alcohol in their ice cream. So that will be fun. So with that, there's some other things in that weekly checkout review yesterday that I really want to make sure you take a look at. We talk about lottery, prescription glasses, and firearms. So please, if you didn't take a look yesterday, go back to the weekly checkout and check it out. So with that, thanks for watching Keeping Up with Kristen.